Tennis Spin, where we are going to put a spin on your tennis game. Today, in our first episode, we are going to be talking about tennis balls and our really differences in these tennis balls that we use. Um, what you see here are the most popular tennis balls in the American market. Uh, number one being this Penn Championship, Penn Tour, U.S. Open Ball, Pro Penn Marathon, Dunlop ATP Ball. These are all extra duty felt balls. Uh, what you have on the left, you have your RF All Court Legacy Ball and your Babolat French Open All Court Ball. These balls are regular duty felt. Now, what does that mean? A regular duty felt has less felt in it. So the felt, so the ball should be lighter than an extra duty felt. So the extra duty felt is there for more durability. The felt stays on longer, there's more of it, so it's harder to knock these off faster. Therefore, with less felt, these balls should be a little lighter and a little faster from the start. We're going to test out what each of these balls weigh and determine if there actually is a difference in these balls. We're going to take it over to the scale and weigh each one. Okay, so I'm going to start the most popular ball in the tennis market today, number one selling ball. So I'm going to actually open it up and just throw it on the scale and tell me what it says. Fifty six point five grams pen champ. The next ball we're going to test is the Pro Pen Marathon ball. This is an ex extremely popular ball, too. Fifty six grams. The official ball of the U.S. Open, Wilson U.S. Open ball. The Wilson U.S. Open ball is 58 grams, a little bit heavier. The pen tour ball, which used to be called the ATP ball. Fifty eight point five grams. The Dunlop ATP ball. This is the new official ball of the ATP men's tour. Fifty-seven grams. We're going to go into the regular duty felt balls. These should be lighter because there's going to be less felt in them. So we're going to start with the Babolat All Court French Open Ball. Fifty seven point five grams. And lastly, we have the Roger Federer signature all court legacy ball. Fifty seven. 5 grams. That's the same as the French Open all court ball from Babolat. So, what did we determine today? There's not a lot of difference in the weight of these balls. Um, 
I hear people all the time say, well, the Pro Pen, which is the marathon ball, is heavier. Well, we just learned that it's not heavier. Maybe it's a heavier ball when it hits the ground and you strike it, but scientifically, they're almost all the same. We determined today, after weighing these balls freshly out of the can, well, they pretty much weigh the same. Um, regular duty, extra duty, different brands, they all weigh the same. Now, whether they play the same or not, um, that's a little different, but fresh out of the can, they are technically the same. All of these balls, egg, extra duty, all court, they're all the same. There's a, there's a myth that goes on today about tennis balls that when I was a little child, that still goes on today. And that's somebody walks into to the store and they're grabbing cans of balls and doing this, right? And when I was doing it, I would say, I would be looking for the number fours on the cans, right? Not the number ones, not the number twos, not the number threes, but I wanted number fours because my friend said the number fours are the most pressured balls. They're the hardest, fastest, longest lasting balls, but they have to say number four on the cans. Well, I believe that because I was a kid, okay? And people still do that today. Now, after a lot of research and I'm talking to all the manufacturers, that's actually not true, okay? So that is a myth. They number the tennis balls because when you're out playing a match, they don't want like the five courts to all have Wilson force. They want different balls in each court, like different numbered balls in each court. So just like when you go out and play on a recreational court or a tennis club that you don't get your balls mixed up. Like court one would maybe have a Wilson one. Court two would have a pen two and so on. So that is a, that is a myth in tennis balls. Thank you for watching.